There are other ways to determine whether two people are a match. Now, my next guest certainly thinks so. She calls herself a numbers lady. Take a look. The most important number in this is for all of you, it's your life path number. One means you're striving to be the best at what you do. A six is the nurturing number, you're a six. The number seven is the observer watching others, high seven. <laughs> and the eight is don't mind working hard, where's my paycheck, high eight. <laughs> and the nine is uh, follow me, and I might not know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pull it off, high nine. <laughs> Well, please welcome author of Love by the Numbers, Glennis McCants, to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, tell me how this works. Numerology is a science of numbers. When you look at someone's name and their birth date, you get six numbers that make up the numerology blueprint of who they are. And just for the record, you're soulmates with your wife. So, Robin, you are an example of a soulmate connection, for real. Okay. So, our numbers... That. We've been together for 40 <laughs> years, but our numbers say that, right? The numbers do, and here's how that works. I guess That's 40 would be the biggest of those numbers, yeah, right? Yeah, but let me tell you about you. You're a seven life path, and you know what sevens are? It means you can assess the situation, and you feel who people are. You do it all the time. And in my opinion, your greatest blessing, you've got the number two, which is intuition. You do go with that gut instinct, and it doesn't fail you. Going back to Robin, she is actually your rock. Your rock. Because yeah. a four is that solid base that says, honey, fly as high as you can fly but make sure you take care of me too. Don't forget me, because the four is about family. So her mission is about make sure the whole family is together and you love that about so her. So if I come home and express an opinion and she says, don't you doctor feel me? <laughs> is, you need is, to listen to me. Is that her being my rock? When you take the birthday numbers, you take your full date of birth and reduce it to one digit. You're a nine life path, which is the old soul number. So you're beyond your years. You're also born on a nine day. Mm -hmm. You have a nine attitude. That means what you see is what you get. But you know what your bad habit is? You attract people that have problems. Like you attract <laughs> the guy that you s rescue and save. Mm. You can't mm. do that anymore. You know, you've got to find yeah. the equal. And in numerology, you can find the equal. And, and I was looking at those men, and I saw someone really terrific for you. Say, that, that's you? Oh, Todd has a heart of gold on paper, yeah. man. Is Look that at true? his smile. Without saying sure. Todd, I want to say this. In Just Numerology, I said, the three is known for their smile, their eyes, their voice. Look at his eyes. Look at that smile. It's a natural match to you, and you love humor. You like I funny do. people. Yeah. Well, aren't you funny? I'm entertaining. See? <laughs> at least and I you brought so. down the house. Yeah. So that's what numerology is. It's like, who's a natural match? That keeps it easier. Yeah. So have you all met? I haven't met her, no. No. Okay. If, if I arranged a, a dinner, for y'all, would you go out and have dinner? We sure. put you, would you Absolutely. like to take that? Yeah. Have a good well with him? Yeah. All right. All right. We'll do that. Today's show is all about surprises, and we're starting with a real surprise. Numbers, and how they can affect your health. It starts with the very first number that you're given, your date of birth. I'm a student today, and my teacher is numerologist Glynis McCants. Take it away, Glynis. Okay. Eights are here to master financial security. Eights work hard, but it's like, where's my paycheck? How true is that? It's like, yes. I'm willing to work hard, but I need my money. I do. I like to know that my time is accounted for. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Here's what I like about eight. If you trace the eight, it goes round and round. It's got two sides to it. So when you're feeling bad, you can flip it. And the other thing about the eight, lower back pain. You know, mm. money is connected to the lower back. Sometimes your lower back will start to hurt. Eight, raise that if that's true. I'm looking at a bunch of eights. Hi, all my lower back pain. Yeah, that's where it attacks the body. So that's one piece of advice. I want to make sure I give you the other part that I'm concerned about. This is interesting. You know when you feel depressed or frustrated? Movies, goofy movies. You rent a comedy, start laughing, and music that makes you silly. Disco, L Jatin, uh, Jatin, that's very good. Let's try again. <laughs> It was jazz in Latin, by the way. I Jatin, like it. is it a new word, baby? <laughs> All right, I want to say disco, Latin, anything that's silly and fun, you get that rhythm going, you're back in the moment, and you're happy. That's what it takes for an eight. Absolutely, Absolutely true. Absolutely true. It's yeah. so true. I, when I'm in a bad mood, I turn oh. on cartoons and oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, reconnect like, with the inner child in me. Yeah, and get real music silly. all the way. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing about eight, you guys are very direct. Like I say, there's an art form to the truth. You need to find it because you're just blunt and people I don't know what hit them. blunt, yes. You can ask him. <laughs> yes. You Is that really sure she's blunt? Him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We have, we have confirmation from Renee. And I must say, it's very hard for me as a, as a physician to judge specific advice 
But generally speaking, if those are the right personalities that match who you are, right. this advice is right on target. What number are you? Double three, triple D. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say we met at a party, party. and Glenn is this is how brilliant she is she said um, it was before the show That's had right. started and That's I told right. her about it and she was like that show is going to be a success it's going to be a hit it's going to stay did. on the air oh, I did yeah. and, I'll and I'll tell you why I knew that wow. with Sarah because Sarah is a seven life path she's actually an observer even though she's a communicator with this panel she needs time alone like, she has to be by herself to regroup. So your ego's not involved. It's like you want everyone to fly high, and that's why I knew when she said, it's going to be a group of people, I'm like, it's going to be a hit. That's why. So that's Sarah. And then born on a two-day just means the ability to love deeply, and that's why when it comes to the kids, you love their silliness. Like, this, <laughs> the sillier, that's what puts you in the good mood. Yeah. So, Delisa, I broke down your numbers. Now, remember, there are three numbers in a name. There are two in a birth. So this is what I get. I look at you. The first thing is you're a three-life path. So if you have something to say, no one can stop you. <laughs> But you're a natural detective. You have a five. So if someone's lying, you're going to find out the truth, and you're going to confront them. That's true. That's right. And Is when you right? get mm -hmm. mad, it's an Oscar-winning performance. You are scary. <laughs> Okay. The other thing is you have an eight in your soul, which means you've learned the hard way your whole life, but you don't like the pity pool. When someone feels sorry for themselves, you're like, get up, let's figure it out. Do you true, honey? You own the money. Girl, you better stop. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to deny it. You own the money. That's, that's me. Right. Now, here's another. You have a two, which means you also need love, and people hurt you deeper than they realize. Girl, where did you come from? Come on down. <laughs> it's scary. Please welcome the author of Glennis Has Your Number, numerologist Glennis McCann, to explain how this all works. Welcome. I, it's all about me, I guess. Maybe I'm the number one. Let's do me. Now, seven, seven is a love of nature's beauty, the ocean, mountains, plants. <gasps> all of that is important to you. Oh, and I'm an ocean reads, girl. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, you know what? The ocean speaks to your soul. When you're in trouble, you need to go near the water and just go tell me what I need I've to know. I've been saying that. Haven't I said that? I need to go down to Miami or something oh, and be near the no, water. Get, get yes. out of here. I'm serious. Oh, you, yeah. When the water speaks to you and makes you feel better, and also you live in your head, it's hard for you to sleep sometimes because you get <gasps> frazzled up there. <gasps> I was talking about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I call it the it's human vampire because there's a party that's very alive at night. The seven's like, whoo, my mind is going. We've invited three couples up here to show <laughs> and shuffle them around, and we put them in a lineup, and we're going to test you to see if these people are dating the correct people. Now, when they first came in here this morning, they came <laughs> as couples. They're panicked, you guys. <laughs> in numbers, belongs together. Drum, drum roll. roll. I would put Graham and Mindy Graham, together. Come on over here. Stay I would right. put Katie and Chris Johnson together. Chris, come on over with Katie. And I would Dan put with? Dan with Marie. Just kidding. <laughs> I would put Hi, Dan baby. with Diana. Go ahead and stand up That's next to Diana. Where I'd put them in numbers. Now, I'm going to ask you guys, is this the order you came in? Yeah. It is. It is exact it is. order. That you came in. This is what I want to say about Lady Diana. When the whole thing happened, I was devastated, as I know everyone was. And I say that because we loved her. And we loved her because she gave so much. And that's what sevens do. But when I studied her, I thought, whoa, Al Fayed and her had three numbers out of five in common. They were soulmates. They were soulmates. And she did not have numbers in common with Prince Charles. So she had found someone who truly loved her and treated her beautifully. So yes, it's tragic that she died, but in such a good moment for herself. She felt loved, she felt appreciated and, and adored for the first time. And if we had to, to you know, have a time to die, that's the time when everything's terrific and you feel good. She was happy. Right now, they are pinching themselves thinking they must be dreaming. It is that good, it is that powerful, but it's not real. Numerologist Glennis McCants is the author of Glennis Has Your Number and founder of the website NumbersLady.com. She says that numerologically speaking, Angelina and Billy Bob just don't add up. I know for a fact he will regret his decision. And I've done this 16 years, so I'm not guessing. I just looked at this and went, oh my goodness. Both were born on a four day. And when each birthday is added up, they both total to the same number, five. 
when you meet someone who's got your numbers exactly, it is this out of sight feeling. I mean, it's like crazy in love. And that's what they are. So it's definitely sexual and passionate, but that's not necessarily grounds for a long-term relationship. Fives live like they're in a soap opera, they're in a book, you know. It's a new chapter, a new novel. No accident, they're both actors. But when you, the curtain goes down, you deal with reality. And they have not even looked at the reality yet. They're nowhere near it. According to Glennis, fives need freedom, fun, and adventure. Add to this a five's fear of commitment, and you have trouble. You know, she's been through a couple of marriages, and she's in her early 20s. And going back to Billy Bob, this is his fifth marriage. Not real good at commitment. And what's funny is, uh, the word is, they removed the, the vow of, in the marriage of tell death to his part. Well, no kidding. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I got your number written on the back of my head. I got your number written on the back of my head. I got your number.